Well, hello everybody, Mike Shoesmith here. Two stories out of Israel today that I want to point your attention to. You're gonna get a, you're gonna get the, hopefully some eyes will be opened here to what's really going on in Israel. And the headline on this one is Gaza rockets continue, continue to pound southern Israel. This is today, Monday, July the 7th. Palestinian terrorists operating out of the Gaza Strip on Monday fired into southern Israel. Upwards of a dozen rockets, one of which struck the city of Beersheba. There were no reports of serious damage in Israel's Iron Dome and anti-Israel, anti-sorry, anti-missile system managed to intercept a number of rockets that threatened to hit residential areas. Now that is a an article out of IsraelToday.co.il. Uh, but here's another one here. This is a real eye-opener for, hopefully, for many of you, about the attitudes over in the Gaza Strip. Jew killing has become lucrative Palestinian profession. Israel's uh, security cabinet is exploring ways to curb monthly stipends or stipends. Depends, I guess, if you're, if you, um, where you live, how you pronounce that word, stipend, um, uh, but uh, the Palestinian Authority gets paid multiplied millions upon tens of millions of dollars uh, every year. And uh, in um, those are American dollars, by the way, in uh, you know charitable giving and, uh, and government subsidies. The issue is again brought to the forefront as Israel sought ways to put pressure on the Palestinians to return three abducted Jewish youths who have since been found murdered. Data presented to the cabinet revealed that a terrorist sentenced to... These numbers are shocking, folks. I just want you to know that these numbers are shocking. Data presented to the cabinet revealed that a terrorist sentenced to 10 to 15 years in an Israeli jail receives a salary of 6,000 shekels a month. That's $1,750 a month in, in Palestine. That's a lot of money over there. A terrorist serving 25 to 30 years receives 10,000 shekels. This money goes to their families, by the way. Terrorists with blood on their hands, those who have succeeded in murdering Israelis and are serving more than 30 years, can expect a monthly income of 12,000 shekels, $3,500 a month U.S. That's five times the average salary in the Palestinian Authority, by the way. With those kinds of numbers, the murder and attempted murder of Jews has become one of those one of the most rewarding professions in the Palestinian Authority. You got to imagine the scenario over there, though. We got people over there; they're not working; they're just sitting around and uh, you know plotting ways to to drive the Jews into the Mediterranean. You know, Yasser Arafat he once famously said that there will be peace in the Middle East when the last Jew is drowned in the Mediterranean. And people living in Gaza and the West Bank they 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 live and breathe this stuff. I mean, that's they, they, uh, Palestine, so-called, exists for the, as a proxy war machine for the Arabs over there. They just want Israel gone. And not gone in a, they don't want the warring gone. They don't want the, the strife and the fighting gone. They want that ramped up because they want Israel gone. The best way for Israel to be gone, according to them, is that if they were all dead. Because they hate the Jews. And they're, they're warmongers over there. And, you know, when you look at if, um, if, uh, if the Palestinians would just drop their intentions to wipe out Israel, put their guns down, lay down their, their murderous intentions against the Jews, there would be peace in the Middle East. There would. The, the Israeli society would welcome them into their economies and, and loosen the border restrictions. And if, they had a, if there was earnest uh, intentions on the, on the Palestinians' part to not kill Jews, there would be peace in the Middle East. However, if you reverse that, if the Jews were to lay down their arms, the, they, they would be, all be driven into the Mediterranean. They would all be slaughtered. That is the reality over there. And, I'm, and it's shocking to me that there are Americans and Europeans who don't see this reality. They see the Palestinians as the, as, the, as the victims here, when they're the ones who are the aggressors. If they would just stop all that, there would be peace over there. You know, Israel is a secular society. There's a lot of religion over there, but the government is a secular government. They have no, they have no intention of wiping out the Palestinians. 
But when you reverse that, the Palestinians, oh, clearly their only intention is to wipe out the Jews. People need a reality check on this. And with those kinds of numbers, the murder and attempted murder of Jews has become one of the most rewarding professions in the Palestinian Authority. Are you guys uh, hearing me here? An Israeli foreign ministry report shows that in 2012, the Palestinian Authority paid $75.5 million to jail terrorists and their failures. And that represents only the transfers from the PA's Ministry of Prisoner Affairs. Additional monies are regularly paid to the families of jailed terrorists by the Ministry of Social Affairs and to the families of deceased terrorists, including suicide bombers. These additional payments reached $78 million in 2011. Altogether, the Palestinian Authority is spending 20% of its annual foreign aid. So 20% of the money that they get from foreign aid from other countries, including Israel, by the way, uh, is going is going to to funding the 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 culture of terrorism. Five percent of its over overall annual budget on supporting terrorists and their families. So, if you want to be a hero in the family, go kill some Jews, become a hero. Yeah, you go, go you go to prison, and even prison in Israel is probably better than life in Palestine. Because that's the way they've made it. They've made it that way for themselves, you know, under Sharia law, etc. It's a disaster over there, and it's not going to end. That's not as long as Palestine exists next to Israel, there will not be peace over there. My name is Mike Shoesmith. There's a reality check for you. We'll talk to you next time.